Have a look at this. In the uh, airport at Proserpine with Sunday, they've got their own fish tank. Welcome to another episode of Country Living. Actually, let's call it Country Holiday. We thought we'd do a special episode, a um, maybe even do a new series of, of holidaying places for people in the country. I mean, they're holidaying places for anyone really, but these are the holidaying places that we like to go to. Um, so, you know, like all farmers, we get worn out and sometimes we need to make have a bit of a break and um, and see what's around, have a, have a bit of a rest time. So this is something you're liking. Don't forget, first of all, to like and subscribe, all that sort of good stuff down there. Hit that bell button so you get the notifications when we release the videos. And um, yeah, stick around, let's get into it. So Airlie Beach itself, there's not a real lot to do. There's heaps of restaurants and bars and all that sort of stuff. That's not my scene. The whole time we've been here, we haven't gone to any of them. But there is one thing I'd really do rate, and that's this pool. Um, they call it a lagoon, but I call it a pool. Um, it's got deep end down here, and it's got really shallow end up here. We were here pretty well every day with my little girl um, swimming. She absolutely loved it. And it's got the playgrounds and stuff around. It's um, fairly early right now. It's about uh, 7.30. Well, I mean, it's not early, but for holiday makers it is. And, um, but yeah, no, it packs out really good. They've got lifeguards here, um, I don't know, 24-7 by the looks of it, because they're here already. <laughs> Um, and yeah, really good, really, really nice part of Elliot Beach. Then if you see behind me, you've got the, the open sea, um, the marina over that side of things, and then another marina over this side of things. There are quite a few walks you can do, walk up the mountain and different bits and pieces, but as far as um, family holiday and going, yeah, the pool is the number one thing that I like. Anyway, we'll get into the things that we've gone away to see, and there's heaps of things to see there. Okay, so today's walk, the first walk we took, um, so this is Ellie Beach where we are staying. <clears throat> we go through Shuttle Harbour Road, I believe it's called, Shoot Harbour Road, and that's the harbour in here. <clears throat> and you can go from there to here, Coral Beach Walking Track. There's a nice little parking lot here, and you take that walk right down to Coral Beach Waterfalls, was not existent when we went through. Uh, to the beach here, that's Coral Beach. Did some really nice snorkeling off this point here. Did a little bit in here. Didn't get any video, didn't have the underwater camera with me. And then went for a walk up the top of the mountain. Okay, so this is Coral Point Walk. Um, Coral Point or Coral Point Bay or whatever it is. Um, Shoot Harbour is just around that corner there. <laughs> Looking out here, we've got, um, don't know if you can see it, straight in the distance there, Hamilton Island. Uh, behind that, <laughs> Pentecost Island, and then we've got South Mole, North Mole, and in the middle, all the buildings. with all them buildings in there, that's Daydream Island. I've been informed that there's 70 islands around here with all this. <laughs> Beautiful day. You missed, you missed Long Island Beautiful that. weather. On the way back from the lookout, the little girl's worn out. <laughs> Worth a look. You can see the rainforest here. Yeah, it's like a tropical rainforest, a little bit arid. Got some beautiful cycads. None right here to show you, but yeah, worth the walk. I think 25 minutes from where the car park is to the beach, and then another 15 minutes to look out. Had a bit of a snorkel on the on the coral there, didn't get any footage of the snorkeling. Um, we may come back and hopefully get some then. You guys know what this is? Well, have a look. It's a giant ants nest. Look here. They're on my finger. Oh, they're everywhere. They seem to jump. They've got a green bum to them. Can you see that? Yeah, green bum to them. They reckon you can eat that if you get real hungry. Yeah, so they're native up here, and that's what the ants' nest looks like. Have a look at that. They're out in force. Don't mess with them. So we're on the uh, seahorse 
today heading out to the um, Great Barrier Reef uh, out on the outer reef and we have a two hour journey ahead of us this is the uh, Reef Express all right so seahorse is our boat here thank you inside so our trip you see on the screen here we're heading out past Hayman Island, right after the bigger reef we've got. It doesn't say how long we've got left, but I think it's about an hour and a half of trip left. Um, yeah, nice sized boat. Beautiful day for it. You can see the boat here behind me. Thank you downstairs, and I can tell you what's down here as well. I don't know if you can hear me down here. Two engines here, doing 150 litres of diesel every hour each. So that's um, 300 litres an hour, two hour trip each way, so that's 1200 litres of diesel on this ship. Out on the pontoon now. Pretty nice, to be honest, it's pretty nice. <clears throat> you can see straight out over the reef here. Um, yeah. That's our dark waters for your deep stuff here, and then it goes up there. You got a little diving platform here where you can put your snorkeling gear on. Another one over here. And then in here we've got um, the, the pontoon has all its own um, complimentary life beds, snorkels, flippers, all that sort of good gear. Really, yeah, no, impressed with that. <coughs> and then down the bottom, let's see if we can get down the bottom. They've got it under, oh, down here. Have a look at this. Have a look at that. Don't know, can you see that? Yeah, there. They've got a mermaid. Yeah, we're going to say hello to her later. Here under here. Oh, I think it's where they go diving. Yeah, so now I've shown you the nice shots of up here um, on the reef. It, it has become apparent to me, it's been a while since I've been um, out to the reef, uh, at least in Australia. And um, last time, from what I can remember, I mean, it was fairly young, it was, it was a lot more vibrant than what it is now. They've had a fairly big cyclone come through a couple of years ago and it destroyed a heap of reef. But yeah, you can see it's not as, it's not as prime as what it used to be. And now I'll show you a couple of <coughs> shots of where it's not quite as nice. Um, and also, um, you can see where the parrotfish have gone through and chewed all the top of the corals off, like in this shot here. Uh, and they've made a fair bit of damage with that. I haven't seen any um, crown of thorns, uh, sea stars, what do you call them, starfish. But um, yeah, you can see it's, it is a bit, yeah, it's a bit run down the old reef out here, and um, yeah, it's sad to see. on top of the uh, lookout here on Hamilton Island and you can see why you come to the lookout. Look at the background behind me, the whole way around, beautiful <coughs> crystal clear water and islands. We've got um, Whitehaven Island here behind us. <coughs> um, we've got the lookout on uh, Hamilton Island over here and then back on this side, um, there that's Whitehaven goes right around to here. The little island just down here, Plum Pudding Island, I'm 
I'm told it's called. Um, really nice, yeah, really nice at home in Hamilton. I'll show you a couple other things we've got here. We've got um, free bus services, so they can take you for tours around the island, and then you've got um, free swimming pool, ping pong tables. Yeah, it's quite an attractive business proposition they've got here. Free, free, a heap of free services, but you've got to pay to get here, and then you spend your money while you're here. So um, I really like it. So you can see down here behind me is the bay. Main swimming's done. You've got a couple of big hotels there. And then just in front of them hotels, let me see if I can zoom in here. There you are. Bit bad. You've got your swimming pool and all your um, activities and stuff. Ping pong. Um, the use of the beaches there. Heaps to see. You can see straight out behind me. Look at this beautiful, beautiful scenery. fish spot where we just spent looking at all that fish. Okay, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. Um, yeah, I, I just sort of, probably not many people get to this part of the video, but for those of you faithful that do, um, I, I, I probably didn't spend as much effort on this video as I would have liked. The reason is because I am on holidays, and although I did take a little bit of time, there's a couple of days when we are at Hamilton, and out at sea, I didn't really, I was sort of like, no, I just want to have a bit of a rest. So I took a, a bit of a break on, on the videoing and all that sort of stuff. I got what I could and I thought, you know, it, there's still a fair bit of footage there. I thought I'll make a video of it. Um, and, um, and yeah, so next year we've got a couple of holidays uh, pending. Um, so for those of you guys who want to have a look at maybe possible options of, of holidays to go and see things, to see things to do, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel um, and then you can keep track of what we're doing, see what things you may like and um, yeah, make some good holiday, holiday ideas. So yeah, don't forget. Thanks guys. Have a good one.